Well guys, it seems like Black Ops 3 is officially unplayable on PC right now. I've seen a lot of reports on the Steam forums and on Reddit of people saying that they're not able to connect to their friends and zombies or find any matches in multiplayer. BO3 has been one of the most played CODs on PC ever since it came out, and it never really had any issues like this of not being able to connect to each other. Sure, it had other issues, and I've talked a bit about those in some of my other videos, such as RCE and whatnot, but it seems like right now, if you go on Black Ops 3 on PC and you try to play some zombies with your friends, you will not be able to join each other. Now, I will say, I have not tested this myself, but I've seen a lot of posts talking about this and some other videos on YouTube talking specifically about this issue. And apparently matchmaking just does not work and there's no workaround for it. Even if you're using the T7 patch, that still doesn't work. The only workaround people have found is using Radmin VPN, which is a software that I usually use for playing like really old games that don't have any server connection. Like for example, uh, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory that works. What Ramen VPN does is it basically puts you into LAN mode with someone else, and apparently that allows you to play Black Ops 3 with your friends. Now, please only play with trusted friends because you never know, especially while playing a Call of Duty game, what they're able to do if you use a software that basically makes it so that you're a LAN together. So be careful about that, but that's a potential fix for now, at least. It seems to have been happening for a couple days now. The the older posts I've seen are from September 10th, so I actually wasn't even aware of this myself. I only heard about it today. It seems like it has actually been going on for quite a little while here, a couple days at least, almost coming up on one week of Black Ops 3 being unplayable. You would think that it would have been fixed by now, or that if it was just the servers taking a shit, that it would have recovered at this point, but it's been like five days now, and we haven't seen a word or anything, and nobody seems to know what's going on. That reminds me of what happened with Infinite Warfare. If you're not aware, on PC, Infinite Warfare matchmaking from multiplayer was completely broken for almost two years. Like, you just could not play. You couldn't even find a match. You would go into multiplayer and search for a match and it would give you an error saying that your game version didn't match the server version or whatever. Only recently, like a month ago, it was actually fixed. And the only reason it was fixed is because someone tweeted at one of the devs in I think it was the QA department or the tech department or whatever someone who works with the servers the only reason it was fixed is because this guy this one guy out of the 3,000 employees that work at Activision this guy actually took the time to read the tweet that was sent at him and actually do something about it and he fixed it in a day guys he literally fixed it by himself in a day. He flipped the switch and it was fixed. A problem that was there for almost two years on Infinite Warfare. Two years. And it was fixed by one guy in two seconds. That's insane. And it makes me kind of worried about this issue here with Black Ops 3. Like, are we going to see the same problem here? Activision not going to be aware of it for a, a long time until one dev decides to look into it because he's being tweeted at? Like, it, I understand Infinite Warfare. It's not a very popular game. There's like 50 people on Steam playing. It's not like there's actually a lot of people trying to find a match and a lot of people tweeting and devs to fix it but still two years is a very long time even though it's not a popular game you would think that a triple a company such as activision would know that their servers don't work for two years but that's beside the point because they don't even know there's rc in their games apparently i do have a little bit more hope for black ops 3 as it averages about 10,000 players every day on pc so if the issue goes longer than a week it's probably going to start being talked about a lot more by bigger youtubers and whatnot and eventually i'm sure it will be fixed but for the time being it seems like black ops 3 is unplayable on pc at least in co-op or multiplayer is completely basically everything matchmaking wise is broken and it's really weird it's not like there's been a patch or anything that could have broken anything like it seems like the servers just decided to take a shit nobody knows what happened it's not like there were any changes the server's been working fine 
mine for nine years so why all of a sudden is it not working there's a lot of conspiracy theories going around that i think are pretty funny people are saying oh it's because uh, of the black ops 6 beta or whatever it's like yeah dude let's be serious here for a second they're not gonna shut down the bo3 servers for black ops 6 that's just ridiculous but i can see where they they're coming from with the whole h2m situation and them shutting down h2m one day at least a couple hours before it was supposed to release that's you know such a coincidence that you know i can understand why some people believe that to be honest but i don't think so another big theory is that the servers have been taken over somehow by you know some hackers because well wouldn't you be surprised another compromised call of duty game being hacked Oof, what a surprise you know i think that's probably the most likely scenario is someone uh managed to get into the servers and and broke it or whatever or decided to fuck around in it and broke something like that that's probably the most plausible thing that could have happened because the whole infinite warfare thing was actually from an official patch after the patch i guess they forgot to update the servers because the only reason reason you weren't able to match make was because your game version wasn't matching the server version and all it took was for that dev to update the server basically is my understanding of it but for bo3 it's not like there was a patch it just from one day to another stopped working you can't play with your friends anymore for some reason and again i haven't tested this myself but i'd love to hear in the comments if you've been able to connect to each other because i've been seeing a lot of posts and videos talking about this issue and I mean, it looks legit, but if you've been playing zombies in the past two days with your friends just fine, then please let us know. Unrelated, but it might actually have something to do with this. I've seen this post on Reddit of someone claiming that their malware bytes antivirus actually flagged BO3 as being a virus. Of course, everyone responded that it's probably just a false positive, but it was actually the IP of the servers that were being flagged for being malicious or having been malicious in the past. And now Call of Duty is no stranger to having compromised servers or using servers that have at one point been compromised and BO3 is no exception to that. I personally have never had my malware bytes tell me that BO3 was unsafe. I have seen posts of people and even in my comment section people saying that the most recent Call of Duty games are being flagged for their IP with malware bytes so it's not a BO3 exclusive thing even the most recent Call of Duties sometimes get flagged by the antivirus. Now is it because there's actually been the servers have actually been compromised and is that why they're not working anymore i don't know i'm just throwing it in here because i saw this post and i thought it was interesting and i've seen people in my comment section asking me if the newer cods are safe because uh you know their antivirus are telling them that the servers they're connecting to are not safe what i will say is the newer cods are pretty much the safest ones there is no rce or anything and as far as i know the servers are being kept updated so other than remote crashing and disconnecting and stuff like that there isn't any risks of playing the newer cods now for bo3 i don't know what this means why would malware bytes all of a sudden flag it? it i don't think there's been like a bunch of reports on the game i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that the antivirus knows that bo3 is compromised but what i will tell you is that it's a possibility maybe that's why the servers aren't working anymore so i don't know guys for the time being i would just avoid playing bo3 online just play offline until it's fixed and the matchmaking actually works because we don't know what's going on with the servers right now it could just be that it's broken that maybe the server is overheated or whatever the fuck but it could also be some hackers who decided to take over and try to do like bo2 and take control or whatever so i wouldn't risk connecting to the servers for now but yeah that's really unfortunate because again bo3 is well one of the most beloved call of duty games especially on pc and a lot of zombies player love to play with their friends on bo3 and it's a shame that for some reason we are not able to connect to each other and activision of course doesn't give a fuck about it i mean it's not like they intentionally did it but it, i mean it kind of works for them if bo6 is around the corner and bo3 doesn't work you know but yeah it really sucks and doesn't seem like there's any fix t7 patch doesn't seem to be a, a workaround of it again the only way i found was radmin vpn but use at your own risk 
But that's really it, guys. I just wanted to do this short little video about BO3 on PC seemingly being unplayable right now. I'll keep you guys updated whenever it comes back up or if I have more information. I will leave it in the pinned comment of this video. Uh, so if you're watching this video a couple days after release, uh, please check the comments and see the updated news about the whole situation. If you have more info or if you've experienced not being able to connect to your friends, or if you have been able to connect, please let us know in the comments as well. More people talking about issues like this and the clearer it becomes. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.